gets you out of here. on the center of the center line of the runway here. Okay. Your runway is on here too. It shows us that even on here too. So didn't used to have that in the old Cessna. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. We're, uh, everything is in the green. I think we're ready to go. Our radios are set. Okay, my hands are off the brakes. Okay, our airspeed's alive. We're 50, 60, 65, and then away we go. Okay, we're up. We'll make a nice gentle climb out of this this morning for you here. See, we got a lot of runway left if we ever had an uh -huh. engine out. So I, I like this place for that reason. Yeah, this is a nice airport. Yeah. And he's going to tell me when I can turn, so I'll, he'll be calling me in a second here. Over in Fort Sierra, Juliet, uh, King Air Traffic just heading to your right and the right down. When you have him. I don't have him in, I have him in sight yet. From Fort Sierra Juliet, okay, you can start to turn northbound west of the uh, that King Air northbound. Okay, I'll turn in behind the King Air to Fort Sierra Juliet. There's another airplane out there, I don't know if you can see him, but he, that's why he wants uh -huh. me to wait, he wants me to go behind him so we don't crash into each other. That's a good thing. Yeah, so we're doing good. How are you doing so far? I'm doing great. Okay. They're going to call me one more time and okay. tell me to train, change over frequencies here, so. November 4th, Sierra Juliet, contact Parks, we'll see you. Thanks for your help, the first Sierra Juliet. We change frequencies. Now i got to call them in on a different frequency to a different power. Libby, Libby Departure, good morning, uh, 24 Sierra Juliet, climbing through 6,000 for 7,500. 24 Sierra Juliet, Libby Departure, I then. I don't think you get to fly around too many mountains in Iowa, so it's just kind of nice to come yeah, out here and it see it. Yeah, it is, it's beautiful. Yeah. Over in here somewhere, I don't remember exactly where, there's a big wind machine farm over here. With the, they got them up on the mountains to, for generating power. I don't, I don't see them. It's a little hazy over there, so yeah. we might not be looking at it right now. But Now, as we go through this little pass between those mountains and these, you might experience a little bit of bumpiness, but that's the chop. But that's just normal for going between mountain passes like that. So. Don't get worried about it. We're fine. Okay. You're such a good pilot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want you to feel comfortable. Yeah, right and now. I do. Not to worry. Yeah. It's a little bumpy here now. It's not bad.
I can't fly at night because I haven't kept it current. You have to, every 90 days or so, you have to go up like three, you have to do three complete takeoffs and landings, and I just haven't done that. So, but it, this is the airplane. I built it so I could fly it at night. It's got all the right instruments and lights and stuff on it. So I need to do that. And sometimes that's better, like if you're if you have a queasy stomach, you don't really see the horizon, you don't get a, you don't get the sensation of the bumpy ride yeah. like you would. You can fly over Vegas at night, that would be beautiful. Oh it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. You can see the mesquite trees and stuff out here on top of this mountain over oh, here. Yeah. And you can see on our radar screen here, see the red mountains. Uh -huh. it, it, they're just saying, well, if you can't see it, but like at night, if you can't see it, it's telling you, you won't make it. It makes you wonder the people that crash into the mountains, what are they doing? You know, what they're just not paying attention. Apparently, yeah, God, in most cases, got all it. the safety, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because most of the newer airplanes come this way with this kind of screen and safety stuff built in. Bring us up a little bit higher here. Good morning, departure, exit jet 661, we're through 7,000 for 17,000. 661, Louis departure, radar contact. So right now, up here in this corner, this DTW is distance to waypoint, which ended up meaning to you, but I mean, it just means we're 33 nautical miles from Libby, from the airport, and then we're 15... Point four minutes, or 15 and a half minutes, 15 minutes and 40 yeah, seconds away. Oh, nice. So it all, we always know where we are. So when I get to within about 20 miles of there, I'll make a radio call back into them, and they'll give me yeah, probably a new squad code and all this stuff to do. Center on 133.0. Have a good flight. 133.0. Exit jet uh, 5661. Not like such. And now we're going right for it here. I gotta turn on the ATIS. Ah, do this. Listen to it real quick here. Request PAR approaches for controller proficiency. Unmanned aircraft operations in effect. Warning, runway 21 shortened, 3,032 feet available. Notum, TACAN, out of service until further notice. Advise on initial contact, you have information India. Libby Army Airfield, Information India, weather at 1458 Zulu, automated observation, wind 010 at 3, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 19er, dew point 7, altimeter 3038, pressure altitude plus 4296, density altitude plus 5890, runway 26 in use. Expect visual approach, runway 26. Okay. Restricted area 23. Look at that. Go back to the tower over here. Okay. If I get about another two minutes into this, I'll call into them and they'll know where I am or who I am. This is highly restricted military airspace that we're in, so you have to be in constant contact with them or they'll shoot you down. <laughs> <laughs> This is Army here. Army. Yeah. Should be two whites and two reds. But uh, I come in a little steeper, so I'll get all reds here. Okay.
Angle. Angle. Push. Don't worry about angle. that noise. Angle. Push. That's just angle. Angle. Push. Angle. Angle. Push. What a beautiful. Intel one one check close down runway two six and zero three zero six cleared for the option. On the go, make right close traffic. Black tower is cold. Clear for the option. Intel one one. Juliet, so you're making the turn there. Thank you on the runway three zero, and then right turn on Juliet. This free to park. Hi, right, Roger. I'll take three zero to Juliet in order to parking. Thanks for your help. Two horse here, Juliet. Until one one. Just